Good morning, Sheridan. Today is Thursday, September 27th. Please stand and join us for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning. Today for lunch, chicken quesadilla, salsa, cilantro rice, spiced black beans, pineapple, and milk. Hey guys, it's me, your weatherman, Lil Doty. Today it's not going to be too cold, it's not going to be too warm. It's going to be 69 degrees and partly cloudy. Today in athletics, your boys have a home game starting at 545 and senior night will take place beforehand at 530. Volleyball also has their senior night versus Garen Catholic, and that starts at 7. The Sheridan Varsity Volleyball team defeated Rossville in three straight games. Maddie Zola had 11 digs and 11 assists. Emma Went had three aces, Becca Merritt had six blocks, Cheyenne Brooks had five blocks and eight kills. Allie Duff had nine kills and 11 assists. Good job, girls. All right, I just wanted to make a little announcement to fall sport athletes. You guys did a tremendous job. I was going through grades for uh, sectional rosters, and uh, we did a fantastic job in the classroom. Uh, boys football, cross country, volleyball, uh, all across the board, every sport, soccer, boys, girls, soccer, everybody did a fantastic job in the classroom. So I'm really proud of you guys. Thanks, keep up the good work. This Friday, Boys Varsity Football at home. At 7.30 against Seeger. It's 80s night. Time is running out and no correct solutions have been submitted to Mr. Kinsey for his snail problem. If you're interested, your solutions must be submitted to Mr. Kinsey before 3.15 on Friday. A new problem will be posted Monday morning. Good morning, Sheridan. We're here with Mr. Gardner to ask him a few questions about college. So, Mr. Gardner, where did you attend college? Uh, University of Evansville. University Place. Place. And why did you decide to go there? Um, it was away from home, so it was four hours away from where I lived, and I kind of wanted to get away, you know. And uh, it was a small school too, so I like that to get a little bit more one-on-one. -on -one. I heard at Purdue they had like classes of like five thousand students sometimes. Or a thousand students, and you kind of get lost in the mix, you know. I agree. I agree. Do you have a favorite memory from college? Oof, tons. Uh, I, I think uh, going with the cross country team up to Chicago and hanging out in Chicago together with a with a nice food steep end. Mm -hmm. that, that was that was a lot of fun. Sounds like a good time. And uh, just one last question: Do you have any advice for uh, the seniors this year heading to college? Yes, may, make sure you you take a math class your senior year because they will require it. Most universities require at least your first year to take a math class and some kids kind of struggle with that. And then I would also learn how to study because that's what happened to me. I didn't know how to study. I used to study about half an hour before a test in high school. I would do pretty well. Uh, college, I couldn't do that. It, it's completely different. So you have to learn how to study in, in college. I, I remember studying for one test for eight hours and I failed the test. Oh, so, sound like fun. Then I learned how to study and I did a lot better after that. Good. No okay. All right, well thank you for your time. Thank you. Ashton Wilson. This is Zach. I'm Audi. <laughs> 